What is going on, everybody? Hope all is doing well. And today, it actually happens to be my birthday. And what I like to do on my birthday is make a YouTube video. And not just any YouTube video, because I know I make a lot of quick tutorial videos, how-tos. But for my birthday, I really like to make videos that's going to make an impact in businesses, that's going to actually make a change in businesses, whether you're in real estate, whether you're a brick and mortar company, doesn't matter. And what I think would be best for me to do in this video is really show you in 2024 how to actually write a blog using ChatGPT. And I know a lot of people are saying, well, Sean, we can do this. So it's already, you know, we, we know how to do this. Kind of. I mean, I think from the majority of videos that I've seen on YouTube, there's a good way to do it. There's a decent way to do it. And there's a terrible way to do it. And I think a lot of people fall in that terrible slash, you know, medium uh, kind of space. But really what I want to do is just use the best practices from Google and also integrate that with the flexibility and the great features that ChatGPT has for us. So you're actually able to write blogs in little time, at least a lot faster than what you normally would do. So you're going to have faster output. Um, and overall, you're going to ge get these blogs out uh, not only quicker, but you're going to be able to rank them actually uh, quicker as well. So what I'm going to do is just establish some key principles here. So what I actually like to do before anything um, is establish principles of what we're actually trying to do. So for our blogs for Momentum 360, what do we do? What, what are we trying to do at the end of the day? If you're a digital marketing company like for us, we are obviously trying to attract new clientele from our blogs. That's what a lot of people do. Um, they try to inform, they try to educate, entertain. Those are pretty much the ways that we write our blogs and content here. And from that, we hope you guys go to our website and obviously click out, you know, click some of our portfolio work, case studies, et cetera, and then give us a call, right? If you need virtual tours or photography or social media management, digital marketing, hopefully you can go on our website and go and check that out. But really what I would recommend is for you guys in your business to think what exactly you're trying to do. Are you trying to get more subscribers to your blog? Are you trying to build an audience around the blog? Are you trying to get more um, leads from your blog? What are you trying to do with the blog? Because at the end of the day, if you don't have a good understanding of what you're trying to do, you're going to kind of I call it spray and pray. You're going to be making a lot of content, spraying it out there and praying that you get exactly what you want because you don't know necessarily what you want, right? So you want to pick what you're looking to do. So again, just to reiterate for Momentum 360, we write content, we write blogs to educate, to entertain, and also to inform our audience in the means that we can help you guys and you can contact us for our professional services, right? So some other key principles that I want to address as well is there's really five core principles that we have for momentum when we're writing blogs. Okay. The first one is in regards to writing content to writing blogs, the average blog on the first page of Google is roughly 1800 to 2100 words. You can Google this, etc. Some, it might be longer, some of it might be shorter, but the average blog on the first page of Google for a specific topic is 1800, 2100 keywords. All right words, right? So what you want to do is use ChatGPT not to write the entire thing, but to write a little bit of it. You can obviously go and edit some of that out. And you can also have ChatGPT create images for you as well as fetch links, internal and external links. So you can actually get uh, what you need without Googling and doing all these crazy things, right? So that's the first thing. The second thing is you want to have about a 1%, in some cases, 2% based on the number of words to your blog keyword density, right? So if my blog is uh, how to get more leads using virtual tours, right? I want to have that be in 1%, probably even less actually uh, for that blog, right? So you want to have it be, you know, roughly 1%, one to 2% of the entire blog is that keyword, right? You can look that up on Google. That's one of their key principles. Um, so that's the second thing. The third thing you want to do, and this is just my personal preference, is you want to have at least five internal links. What does internal links mean? Internal links are internal links to your website that can go to another blog to connect it to make it more valuable. So if I'm writing a blog called how to get more leads using virtual tours, I would then maybe get a blog, previous blog I wrote about lead generation, about virtual tours, whatever the case is, right? I would add that to the blog to spruce it up, to make it sexier and to also add more value too, more context. It's linking internally. So maybe you go from one blog to the next, et cetera, et cetera. So it cookies 
and you get more views that way. It's a really good way people can actually get more views. That's the third thing. Um, and it's really simple. A lot of the times it's just, you know, your website, homepage. But in our case, we want to get a little bit more in depth and uh, really provide more value at the end of the day, right? So we want to get that stuff further, go into our previous blog, pick out some of the blogs that I think would be good and link them in that blog too, right? Fourth thing I want to talk about is external linking. Okay, so what does external linking mean? External linking is taking external links, external resources, external websites that are not yours on the internet, finding them, taking them, adding them to your blog, and again, sprucing it up, making it sexier. What this is going to do, and this is really nice if you have a you know high domain authority website um, and you're taking links that also have high uh, domain authority um, scores as well, is your blog is ultimately going to be raised higher because you're using and, and helping, uh, you're using these other um, external links and you're adding them to the blog as well. So that's one of the things that I highly, highly recommend you do for a lot of these different blogs that you write. All right. So that's the fourth thing. The fifth thing that I like to do, <clears throat> excuse me, is have about five SEO optimized images, right? So what I talked about previously, you're finding these external links. A lot of the time, you're just finding them on Google. You type in your keyword phrase and the first five organic ones, if they make sense, you're going to take those and put them into the blog. What I would do then to say, uh, take it a step further is you want to take on Google images. You want to Google you know, your certain keyword and you need to go to commercial uh, where it says licenses because a lot of the time, unfortunately, Google and a lot of companies like Pixie, et cetera, are cracking down on um, lawsuits, I don't say lawsuits, but um, copyright infringements on people who just randomly take other people's photos and add them to the blog. And without giving them credit, that's a no-no, right? You're gonna need to pay a fee for that. It is what it is. So what I would recommend is just going on Google, finding those five images. Now, it's really important too, guys, you need to make sure that these images are less than 100 kilobytes. If they're not under 100 KB, that's going to weigh very heavy on the blog page and your blog is going to be very slow. It's not going to rank high. It's going to be one of those things where it's not as ideal as it could be of a blog unless you have those um, really nice resized images. Okay. So those are our five core principles. Again, we were talking about the keyword um, length, 1,800, 2,100 keywords. Second thing is the keyword density, 1% to 2%. Third thing is internal linking. Fourth thing is external linking. Five is the uh, images as well, right? So if you have those five things, guys, you will be very successful with writing blogs, period, because a lot of people skip those steps. And these are very core things that you need to be doing. It's good, basic blog SEO, all right? So what I want to do, and I don't want to take too much time doing this, but if I'm writing a blog, what am I doing? Am I using ChatGPT? What, what are we doing behind the scenes to write all these blogs that rank high that actually get us a lot of clients? Because one of the things that Momentum360 has done is have really good SEO with our website, with our blog, and also local SEO with our Google business profile. I've talked about my Google business profile in previous videos. What I want to do is just talk about our blog really in this video and show you guys how we're able to get a lot of like big leads because of it, right? So this is a free thing that I'm giving out that hopefully can get you guys a lot of big clients and big leads too, all right? Um, so if I'm trying to you know, just write a blog, it could be write me a 750 word blog. I know it's less than what I said, 1800, 2100. Don't kill me in the comments below. I'm just using this as a basic example so you guys can understand, right? Um, so I don't have to do this three times in a row. You know what I mean? Write me a 700 word blog on how to get more leads from virtual tours, use five external websites to back up the claim as well as provide real world stats to back up the claim as well. So I'm telling ChatGPT, not only do I want 750 words, I also want five external websites, external sources from external companies, right? As well as five real world, say word, real word stats on exactly what uh, we're looking for here. So as you can see here, it's pumping this out, which is great. We have realtor.com. We have Matterport, which is nice. Um, you have uh, social media examiner, which is cool. HubSpot. So you're having a lot of these large digital marketing um, 
resources added to the blog, right? And now what it's gonna do is add in the references. And you guys could probably understand it. These are the five external links I'm going to be adding to the blog. You can see there's even more than that, right? What I'm gonna do is take my website, I'm gonna plug in five internal links as well as here. I'll probably use five of these as well. And that's pretty much it. And then the cool thing, this is what I would do. I wanna see if ChatGPT can do this. From the references, I need you to pull one image out of the one image each from the seven links provided and then hopefully what this is going to do is take the images from the blog maybe not i don't think so um so it's not going to do that so what i was going to have it do is try to just pull in, this is the limitation of AI, right? Is you're gonna pull in um, the, the images of the blog itself, which without even having to go. And so what you're gonna to need to do, really simple, just go to these blogs, simply um, highlight it, tag it. You're giving them credit already in the blog, so that's okay to use. And then you're good to go, you're golden. So now you have your external links, you have your internal links, you have your images, okay? What are we missing? We're missing the duration or not the duration. We're missing the length of this blog. And we're also missing potentially the keyword density. Okay. So what I do, cause this right here is a hundred percent AI written for the most, not a hundred percent, but it's, it's mostly AI written. All right. What I like to do notice in the first little blurb here, I asked for real world world stats. That means that human beings before AI, before chat GPT, wrote that article that means it's written by a human right so what i like to do is keep those pieces and then the ones that are ai generated i like to not remove it but update it so it's human um it, it's you know speaking like a human right it's speaking not like a robot so what i would do then is comb through all of the human um all of the ai written content here that is not human and i would humanize it i would edit it i would update it right Really, really important that you guys understand this because if you don't do this, um, your blog is going to rank as high, point you know, point blank. And the reason is, Google doesn't necessarily like Chat GPT written content. Now, in some cases it does, some cases it doesn't. We're still learning about this, but be a good digital marketer, be, be a good SEO blog writer. Don't rely 100% on Chat GPT. It's great. It has a lot of utility and has a lot of great resources, as you can see here. But it's not really meant for right now, at least for, you know, just writing a quick little article and, and that's it. You can put it online. It's going to rank tomorrow. Like that's not really how it works. Right. So guys, this is really what I do. This is how I'm able to write blogs. Notice what this took. How, how long are we? We're at 13 minutes here. You write a blog in 13, 15 minutes, maybe another five minutes or 10 minutes to actually finish everything, edit, check everything, spell, check, whatever, um, add in other words, whatever. This is really good stuff, you know, because for me, I would spend back when, you know, before ChatGPT, we manually had to write, oh gosh, I would write a blog and it would take me about an hour, hour and a half. Maybe I was a slow writer, <laughs> maybe not compared to somebody, but uh, I think I was a little slow uh, just based on the fact that I, you know, I wanted to make sure it was a good blog, right? I wanted to put some good solid time into it. And um, for me, you know, now I'm able to compress it down to 15 minutes, 20 minutes based off of this uh, chat GPT. And it's been pretty solid so far. Um, and that's really it. This is what I do pretty much on a daily slash weekly basis uh, to write a lot of these blogs and get them to rank higher and ultimately have us you know, get more revenue. So I want you guys to use this strategy where whatever business you have, whether it's real estate, whether it's brick and mortar, whether it's a restaurant, whether it's a I don't know, a gym, a school, whatever the case is, I want you guys to use this and see if you'd actually be able to um, you know, benefit from using this strategy, right? And if for whatever reason, I'll say this too as a little bonus tip, let's just say, God forbid, none of these have, you know, images that you could say, you'd simply say, make an image on virtual tours. So maybe something as simple as that. Now, AI, ChatGPT is actually going to create you an image. No one's made this image before for the most part, right? I would hope not. So you actually can take this image, add it to your blog, and it is not copyright, right? So this is pretty cool. What this is really cool, actually, is it's taking some of the, I know some of the words are kind of cut off and they don't really make sense, but for the most part, they do. Um, you're going to take this, add it 
to the blog and there you go. It's a really quick and easy thing. So guys, if you got any value out of this, I really want you to hit subscribe to like this and comment below if you have any questions as well. I'm the one who answers you know, 100% of the questions and, and comments that uh, get down below, but I really just wanted to take some time to make a quick video for you guys. I know I made a video and I think it was 2022 on how to write uh, content with ChatGPT. And I wanna make an updated video as I just did here on how you're actually able to get leads from ChatGPT with writing correct blogs. So I'm gonna pretty much update the video that I already talked about in 2024. Cause a lot of people will just use ChatGPT. They'll have an entire prompt of AI written content that they'll post it on their website. They're gonna get penalized and their you know rankings are gonna drop there volume is going to drop, their traffic's going to drop. They say, what happened? What did I do? You know what you did. You, know, you took the entire blog with ChatGPT and you put it on your site without even editing it. That's a big no-no, right? So guys, be good digital marketers. At the end of the day, the long game is the best game. The long game is where you're going to ultimately see the most happiness, the most success for your business. So keep that path. Keep the good fight. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, thank you for the birthday wishes. I, I really appreciate it across the world. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. Hit subscribe, smash that like button, comment below. God bless. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.